been quite a while since I've posted anything. We're all healthy. I am a nurse, been very busy working, so I am ready to post something for you all to see. I thought maybe it might be fun. We have two new additions, the Zucchini Brothers. That might be why I haven't been posting. They've been keeping me very busy. But anyway, to the project. Walking down the street, saw that my neighbor threw out this lamp here with a base, this sort of topper, and I'm going to chop off all of this fabric and expose the bare skeleton, probably sand it up a little bit and maybe spray paint it, paint the base, glue this somehow, rewire it, or a new piece to go up there, Edison bulb, skeleton lamp sort of thing. Okay, so far I have tried very desperately to get the um, attachment or coupling or whatever you call it off of the top of this lamp. But as you can see, I have already partially destroyed it. <laughs> so I will not be reusing that. Looks like somebody gorilla glued the heck out of it. I believe I see threads in there. So I think if I can get all this plastic off, I can just screw on a light bulb housing unit and get it working again. Hopefully it shouldn't cost me anything but maybe $3 or so. That would be cool because I did pull this out of the trash and I'm still waiting for the day that I pull something out of the trash and I don't have to spend any money on it before I try to sell it. I'll be working on it. I hacked and hacked and hacked at it and could not get this bit of plastic off. I'm not quite sure, but I see threads there. I see that there's that little, looks like a bolt that's screwed into the top. Not quite sure what's going on with this, but I'm not ready to give up. I looked online. I could use a solvent. It should get softer with acetone. This is just nail polish remover, but I checked and the ingredients, number one, is acetone. So I'm gonna use some of this. Wow, this actually works. It is just coming right out. Voila! Now I can just put a little, I think it's called a nipple in there. And then I can, I think I can just put a brand new light right on there, which would be cool. Ha, I won. Only thing is the acetone did totally strip off the paint. Oh well. This is just simple green that I watered down. I'm just gonna give it a quick clean. Guys, I think we're gonna do the queen bee. It is the most excellent, bright, almost like a curry, beautiful color. All right. We are all dry. I'm just gonna use this flat little brush here. One inch flat brush, Amazon, natural bristle. Nothing too crazy or expensive. And I think this one will be good because it's a smaller surface. Got my water, this clay-based paint because it goes on really thick. And when you spray it, it reactivates the clay and the paint properties and um, makes it easier to spread on. We're just gonna go with it. I wanted to do white. I've been stuck in this white, 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 everything farmhouse, white, white, white. It's getting to be closer to spring. I do love winter. I'm a lover of all seasons. Second coat is on. I just went over to my neighbor's house, asked him to help me to test the current in the wire to make sure that the electricity is running appropriately. All right, guys, this is day three. I went to the hardware store, got what I thought were all of the pieces, learned that the piece that goes on the top here is called a Fenlock Uno socket. I've been calling this a 
<laughs> lamp housing unit. Yeah, I love to make up my own terms for things, as you will see uh, like multiple times. But the problem is the way to put it on is to um, attach it with this cord, this threaded nipple. So this one goes well into this one, but it's too small to adapt to that one. And that is why they had that piece on there that I took out with acetone and I threw, like threw it off to the side, like, ha, huh, but now I can't find it. I'm thinking, yeah, I need that piece. I'll be trash dumping, looking for that piece. Cause I really don't wish to spend any more money. This, um, it came in a pack of a bunch and it was like $2.99. This socket, $7.99. I was gonna get spray paint bronze, but that was $8.99. I said, nope, nope, this was from the trash. Keep the budget low. I'm just gonna use what I have Around. I think I have like a tan or something and then I'm gonna put dark and decrepit patina all over this whole thing make it look old I did some wet distressing today made me feel better after my socket fail oh also another thing I learned this lampshade doesn't fit on the socket you unscrew this this piece is supposed to hold the lampshade down I believe that this socket is really for a pendant light, but I'm using it. The shade has to go on here and sit here. That's the way the other socket was, but as you can see, it goes right through. So I think I have to get a washer. Things you learn. All right, day four. I went to the hardware store. I spoke to a friend at the hardware store, Mr. Hardware Man, and he says that we need a bushing. He says, all I should have to do is screw it down in there and then screw this on and it should work. Although he said there might need to be glue involved. It's all making sense now. We shall ah! But I have made progress. I got a washer. We'll go on top of here. And the lampshade can go on top of the washer and this will screw on top and this is gonna look pretty cool when it's done we just have to get it there is it worth it four days two trips to the hardware store so far i haven't spent much money i think i'm still around 15 dollars i'm really wanting to get to like the best part which is the edison bulb once it's all done i'm not even going to take it out of the box because i don't I, it has to be like the last thing, like the tiara. Back to the drawing board on this piece, but making progress, getting a little closer. Well, hi Gus. At this point, I'm determined to figure this out. I have not been able to find that other piece. I did dig through the trash, came up unsuccessful, kind of drew a line at how far I was gonna dig into the trash. I don't know, I might get desperate and actually rip into the other bag. Ooh. Here we are. It is day six. I, oh my goodness, this lamp project is turning into a major ordeal. And I have so much invested time-wise, it's like, I have to keep going. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it at the end. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, or maybe it'll be so awesome that uh, I'll keep it. Hey, babe. What's up? You called? Are you heading back into the office? No, I'm coming home. Mm -hmm. I'm running to uh, Cherry Hill Fine Wine right now. Do you want anything special? Well, yeah, I think I'd like to have a glass of wine. Wine? Yeah. Zinfandel, Chardonnay, what do you want? I'll take a Chardonnay from Santa Barbara, California. You want me to spend a half hour searching for a bottle? Of you asked me if- Hey, I just got checked out. Check, just checked me out. You just got checked out by a chick. Yeah. I thought you were driving. Yeah. I'm parked. I'll see you when you get home. I, I like when you're recording. Oh, here we go. Cordial. Very, very cordial. I like it. Goodbye. Okay. Where was I? Um, yeah. The ordeal of the lamp project. So it's day six. Went to Ace Hardware on Saturday after work. It was icy rainy. I go in. I have my little bag because before I went to the hospital in the morning, I put all the stuff in there that I needed because the bushing didn't work. It was too big. Mr. Ace Hardware Man, um, I need your help. Uh, this thing didn't work. So I took out the main piece wasn't in the bag. So I was like, Shh. back home. They close at five. It was already quarter to five. Raining, cold and icy. And it's like, you know what? I'm abandoning for today. I am just going to go home and drink some wine. And that's what I did. Today, I'm going to go search for that piece. It has like been abducted by an alien. It's completely gone. It's been beamed up out of my life. <sighs> I searched through the trash outside. I was crawling on my hands and knees with a flashlight. I 
prayed to who's that saint i'm not even catholic i prayed to whoever would listen to me please i just need this piece back i should never have thrown it and i still can't find it so i'm online and i'm looking looking and i'm looking and i'm looking and like this is like a weird size piece and i did all this research and i need three eighths ips male coupling that's a five eighths diameter male piece with a one eighth IPS female piece. Um, yeah, I had to search the internet high and low. Usually when you type something up, it comes right up on Google or Amazon's like, yeah, we can send it to you prime. No. So this thing I find on this obscure web page, Grand Brass Lamp Parts. They have what I need for $1.35. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna purchase this. This is going to work. Put all my information in. Shipping methods, US Post Postal Service, $8.10. <sighs> I don't want to do that. That's ridiculous. For a $1.35 piece, I gotta pay $8 for the shipping. Or we could pick it up. West Haven, Connecticut. Maybe make a road trip out of it. We'll see what the hubby wants to do about that. I mean, I can usually get him to go for a Sunday drive, but we're in New Jersey. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Arr! DIY, trash to treasure. This piece better be flipping awesome when it's done. Okay, so, update. Day seven, Tuesday. I got this lamp exactly one week ago today. Still haven't figured out how to get this to work. And I'm on the verge of just tossing it right back out into the trash. But my neighbor Rick is home. He's a scientist. He has helped me in the past figure things out. So I presented him with this challenge. I said, Rick, I have this piece and this piece, and these pieces need to co go together. And they need to have the socket on there and he looked at me and he smiled and he held out his hands and he took it and he went into his basement. It's been about 10 minutes. So my neighbor Rick did not have the piece. I called Billows. They didn't have the piece. They suggested I call another place in another town. I called them. They didn't have the piece. They suggested I go on the internet to a place called Grand Lamp Parts, which is where I was and saw the piece with the shipping of $8.10. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been totally defeated on this one. I'm not giving up on this lamp. At this point, I'm still keeping it out of the landfill. I'm going to order the part. It'll be $9.45. That brings me up to $23 in supplies for this lamp. So we're gonna move on. We are going to be positive. I ordered the piece, I should say pieces. Uh, I went ahead and ordered three. I never want to run into this problem again. Of course, my neighbor says I'll probably never need them again. And I said, well, that might be true, Rick, but you may, in which case I will come to the rescue. So what I'm doing now is this is Debbie's DIY dark and decrepit. It's a liquid patina and it's adding another layer of dimension to this lampshade, which is coming out kind of cool. I did not put any uh, sealer on here. If this were a piece of wood, piece of wood furniture, I would be probably, have, I would have sealed it first with some clear wax before putting this liquid patina on, but this metal, I didn't think that um, the clear wax would go on top of the, paint on top of the metal that well. So I will see. I mean, I kind of like the way it's coming out. It's coming out kind of blotchy, which to me, I think it looks pretty cool. It looks to me like it's really old. Came out of a oil can or something, out of a machine shop. I'm really liking the finish that's coming up without putting any kind of sealer on here. Really looks grungy. I'm gonna go with it. I am also going to put Dark and Decrepit on the shade. I went ahead and I spray painted the shade with whatever I had laying around, which was a khaki color. I think it'll look really cool with some of this Dark and Decrepit on top. I think it'll all come together. I think at the end of the road here, this project won't be a complete wipeout. It won't be a wipeout, but it's gonna be a couple of days until those parts come. So I won't be able to see the finished product and neither will you until, until those pieces come.
because this was painted in latex spray paint, the uh, dark and decrepit wasn't really sticking if I was like to wipe it on, which I tried first. So I'm doing this stippling for technique or whatever you want to call it, just stippling, and then I'm um, going back with my dry towel and just blotting it. And that's giving it nice muted, but yet there's still texture and variations in color. Just taking a little bit longer, but I have time because I'm waiting for that piece. I did end up sealing over top of the liquid patina with the general finishes. Just flat top coat, dries clear, um, just for an extra layer of protection so that the clay paint doesn't continue to rub off if it gets wet or whatever. Okay, everybody, it is exactly two weeks since I first found this lamp in the trash. I just got home from work. I didn't even take my jacket off or my mask and I got the mail and that piece is right here. We're gonna open it and we are gonna see together whether or not this project is going to get wrapped up today. Let's open it together. Oh, I'm so hopeful. And three is my lucky number. I always buy things. Hi Gus. My kitty cats, they, as soon as I come home from work, and my dog, they like, oh, it's dinner time. Why don't you feed me? But nope, this comes first, the brass ring. I think it's called a reducer. That's what we determine. First things first. I'm afraid, let's see if it fits on here. It's fitting on here. Oh, I don't know, it looks a little big. I'm a little nervous, thinking that it's too big. I already think it's too big. It is not going to work. I've about lost all of my mojo for finishing this lamp. High and low, high and low, I have searched for this piece and it doesn't fit. Gus, what am I gonna do? What are we gonna do, buddy? At this point, what I could do, I don't know, I'm at my wits end here. So I'm gonna say that this project was not worth it so far. Guys, I might just have to Gorilla Glue it and paint it. I'm not spending any more money. Let's do it right now. Let's Gorilla Glue. <laughs> One way or another, this project is getting finished. I am not spending a dime more money. I am not spending any more money. We are gonna retrofit, reinvent the reinvention. My husband always says that I'm like a maniac with the Gorilla Glue. Sometimes he could be right. Gorilla Gluing. It's gonna Gorilla Glue my fingers too. I gotta get it on there. I think I'll use a clamp. I know, it doesn't like match, but I've spent way too much time already. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? This is exactly probably why this lamp was thrown out to begin with. After this dries, put a little bit of the DIY dark and decrepit in here. I'm just gonna paint it on, make it look like the rest of it. Uh, maybe it'll add to its industrial look, like it came out of a machine shop. I think I said that earlier. Alrighty, here we are. I am wrapping this up for us. I put the underwriter's knot in there. And it's just a simple process of tying a little knot. Where did I learn that? YouTube, watch Jane Drill video, three minutes. I'm just gonna shove this guy back in here into the sleeve. I hear my daughter, she's up there calling me. She's doing school from home today. Well, every day right now. I'm gonna screw this top back on. There we go. This is the grand finale. As you can see, I did use the um, that brass piece and I Gorilla glued it on. So far, so good. I mean, I've really been like pushing and pulling it because I was afraid that it wouldn't have stability enough to hold this heavy lamp. This is a messy studio. I am in my basement. I hope to someday be out of my basement with a proper studio. I mean, I guess who's to say this isn't a proper studio. It functions, has a purpose.
Oh, I'm so excited. We are getting, we are getting close to the end of this journey. This trash pick the lamp journey. That's gonna go on there like that. Ah! <laughs> and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the epic fail. That wraps up our story of the trash picked lamp. Was it worth it? Yeah, I think so. It took a lot of time. It was a journey. That last epic fail where the little brass piece, the reducer fell off. Ooh, I had to gather my spirits up, but I ended up thinking it through. What I ended up doing, went downstairs into some of our old toolboxes that had plumbing supplies in it. And I found these, these little reducible collars and I just decided that I would Give it a go again with Gorilla Glue using one of these collars. You use a screwdriver or you could use a wrench to get it really tight. I just glued it on there again. This collar around the stem of the lamp and half on the brass reducer piece. Gorilla Glue tightened it down so that it gives it more support on the outside and once the glue dries completely it'll be really strong because the Gorilla Glue will expand in there and it will, well the idea is that it'll adhere the collar. I don't even know what this is. It doesn't matter to me because it served its purpose. It's there. It's finished. Cheers! <laughs>